everyone. This is Texas Moto Kitty. This is my first moto vlog. So, um, I've been working, so I wasn't able to record anything. So, this is going to be just, um, like I said, my first moto vlog. Nothing too fancy. Um, this is just my bike. Um, if you saw my description of my channel, it's a 2015 CB300F. And um, it's a good little starter bike. Um, I started riding in November. That's when I took the MSF course, which I recommend all newbies take. So this is my bike. I'll give a little walk around. Um, it is uh, no fairings. That's why the F is in the name, in case anyone was wondering. I like this look better. The naked Street Fighter Sport, um, sport bike look better. Um, I did buy the uh, seat cowl with the bike. Um, it comes with the standard padded seat, but I like the seat cowl look better. And plus, I won't really, I don't really plan on having any passengers <laughs> on this bike. Um, maybe when I move up and get a, a bigger bike and more experience. It's a little cold. Um, I think the high is going to be like 48 or something. But the forecast looks a little bit better for the rest of the week. So I'm just out doing a little bit of riding um, on this Saturday. I'm sort of sick. It's been, uh, the weather's been pretty crazy. It's been uh, cold, rainy, and a, a few days it's been warm. So it's been all over the place here in Georgia. Yes. I know my... My name is Texas Moto Kitty. I am from Texas. Right now I am just working in Georgia. And uh, I'll be leaving this job later this year to go to grad school. And I'm trying to get into grad school in either um, California or back in my home state of Texas. Yeah, like I said, I really don't have a route to where I'm going. I'm just riding out. Um, it's been somewhat of a busy week since I got back from out of town for work, so. <sighs> and, yeah. So I was, was supposed to wake up a little bit earlier to go to IHOP with a friend but I think both of us end up waking up later than we expected. And so we didn't end up going. But I know he's out riding his bike too with another friend. Um, he also has a 300. He has a, a Kawasaki Ninja though. So yeah, um, the reason I started riding a motorcycle. Because originally I wanted to just take the course. Just so I could know how to ride a motorcycle. Just in case. You never know if you might need to commandeer a motorcycle to get away in a really crazy situation like in an action movie <laughs> I like to think of myself as a little tough and I think I am in a lot of ways um, so yeah I always thought that would be funny um, so I took the course and then I was riding I was riding and I was like this is really fun like it feels so liberating it's, it's totally different than riding in a car, you know. I mean, I have a fun car, don't get me wrong. Um, I have a Mini Cooper, and it's a fun car. I love it. Um, but I definitely like the feeling of, of riding a motorcycle. So I was like, ooh, I'm definitely going to get one. So uh, I was researching around, and I saw this bike. You know, not too much power great price I like the style so I knew if I were to get a bike this would be it so the day I graduated from MS, my MSF course I went to the uh, deal, uh, dealership that sold Hondas and I purchased this bike so that's the story of how I came along to get this I'm uh, still a very very much a noob very much a noob at riding motorcycle Oh, just passed by the Harley Davidson dealership right there. Um, so today I'm riding 
with my glasses, which is my first time riding my motorcycle, you know, with my glasses because I needed, uh, when I got back from out of town, I realized that I hadn't ordered uh, more contact lens, so um, I should have those in later this coming week. But it's so weird having to squeeze my little glasses in this helmet. I'm not a huge fan of it. <laughs> but uh, it's just for, just for a few more days. So yeah, uh, you know about me so far that I'm from Texas. I am working. I'm living in Georgia currently because I'm working here. Like I said, until the end of the year. Yeah, so like I said, riding so far has been pretty nice. Oh my gosh, come on, person. I don't know what fucking lane he's gonna turn in. Crazy. People are driving really crazy today. I know it's Saturday. Uh, come on. It's a little chilly. <laughs> but I layered up. I have uh, like some un an Under Armour top underneath here. And then like underneath my Kevlar pants, I have some Capri pants like that I usually work out in. <laughs> so <laughs> that's like the extra layer of warmth. Like it's not too cold, but I definitely decided that I needed to wear layers today um, yeah uh, this guy thanks dude it's really windy <laughs> but uh I hadn't really figured out where I wanted to place my mic yet so I know it's uh, a little bit of wind so yeah this is my first motor vlog so might not have a lot to talk about because I didn't really think about okay what am I going to talk about in my first motor vlog I just figured I will record something for this month because I did say that I will at least post one video when I got back from out of town. So, oh shit, I'm like speeding <laughs> and the, the sheriffs have been out like a lot because I guess it's the end of the month and like everyone had to get their quotas in or something. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to get a speeding ticket. Not cool. So yeah, like I was saying, I have a, I have a Mini Cooper, and um, I feel so accomplished because uh, this past week I have installed on my own. I changed, uh, I changed my air filter and my cabin air filter on my own in my bike, which you know saves you know a few hundred bucks because if you take it to the dealership, especially with the a car that's. Uh, manufactured by BMW freaking going to the dealership can get really can add up for Mini Coopers, BMWs, whatever. So I felt really awesome that I was able to change that myself and save money and also learn. I mean it's, pretty, it's a great feeling. And then um, today my order of spark plugs should get in because I want to change my spark plugs too so yeah I feel like a really accomplished lady <laughs> I really hope that I get into the California school because the weather in South California would be perfect to ride like all the time uh, I, li I did live in California for a year a few years ago about a year and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved South California. Like I said, the weather was nice. I like, uh, there were a lot of good roads to drive there. So I can't imagine how fun it would be on a motorcycle. Now, I would not drive the Big Sur on a motorcycle because that freaking road is scary as hell in a car itself. So I don't think I would do that. I know one thing I do need to do, it's about 1 p.m. I need to get some lunch because I haven't had lunch yet. 
like I said, I woke up pretty, pretty late. You know, it's Saturday. Sleeping a little bit. I did stay up to about like 1 a.m. last night anyway. So. I'm not really sure what angle I set my camera at. <laughs> Honestly. Is it recording? Yeah, cool. I have my neck warmer on, but I didn't put it on properly. So it's sort of breezy around my neck right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, when I started, when I started writing and I started watching motovlogs and I was like, really surprised about, at how many people motovlog. And I was like, you know, that's a good idea. I could totally do that. I already had a GoPro camera. I bought my GoPro back in 2012. So yes, I'm using the GoPro uh, Hero 2. I guess they stopped at the intersection up there because I don't, oh no, here there. Woo, action. Uh, probably was, I don't know what's going up there yet. Hopefully they're not gonna block this lane. Nope, I see lights coming my way. Ah, oh, there they go, okay. Huh. So yeah, um, I started watching motor vlogs and I was really surprised at how many people do it. Um, there were, you know, a few people that I did enjoy watching and others not so much. I mean, everyone has a preference. Um, like some people were just too wild and crazy when I was watching. Others seemed pretty level-headed. They didn't do stupid things. Um, a lot of them were really informative. I learned a lot before I actually started uh, writing. Um, so yeah, there, I mean, there are a lot of different personalities out there in the motor vlogging community and so there's so many and, and that's a good thing because you get to find out why are they turning so slow who you really like and uh who you want to continue watching so really guy wow okay okay guy really yeah i need gas i remember like last weekend like the day after i got back from out of town from work for work um me and a friend we drove we rode over to uh south carolina and uh and on the way back, like it was like, I think it was like hour half, hour and a half ride there, an hour and a half ride back to uh, Columbia. And um, on the way back, <laughs> we were just having so much fun. We were having so much fun just riding. And I, thank goodness I looked down and I noticed that my, my gas light was like almost at the E and it was flashing red, like you better pull over. And so we were on the, on the, under the highway or interstate or whatever and I was like oh crap I don't know how many more miles there's gonna be another gas station so I better pull over now and my friend was ahead of me and I was like crud he's not noticing that I'm gonna pull off and go freaking get gas I'm like whatever I need to get gas before I freaking die on tire of the freaking highway and be stranded <laughs> so I just pulled off and went to get gas and I was like whatever he knows his way back so <laughs> but yeah that was that was a close call you can definitely end up having a lot of fun and, and and forgetting that you need to look down at your your gas indicator level indicators every now and then so that was a lesson learned i gotta ch make sure before i head out that i fill up and yeah this is a busy road i don't know why i came this way but i'm gonna turn down here and then um why is this freaking jerk next to me it's so freaking weird <laughs> I hate creepy guys like in cars who'll like pull up right next to you and like just stare I'm like oh my gosh a girl on a bike weirdos <clears throat> it's so busy come on guy can you turn any slower I don't know what's with Georgia drivers they're some of the worst drivers oh my god <laughs> holy shit yeah, but um, I'm definitely one of those riders who, who just rides to enjoy. I don't, I'm not a speed demon. Uh, I don't try to impress anyone. I just out on my bike and enjoying riding. Like it's, it's really relaxing. And sometimes as you talk back there, sometimes it's really concerning. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, I enjoy it. 
I wish there were more scenic routes here in this part of Georgia. It's not so much. I mean, um, me and a couple friends are, are planning, oh my gosh, don't pull out, um, to have a ride down to Savannah, um, probably in a, a month or two. That'll be a fun ride down there. Don't pull out, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it, lady. Thank you. Okay. I'm trying to think where I want to go. And I really think I want Starbucks, but that's not really lunch. They don't have the best food selection here. I mean, I like their uh I like their breakfast sandwich, the bacon gouda. I need to get some gas. Uh, ah, so mad. gas station to the right over here so let's go here here let's see if that works yeah, I need to take these stickers off eventually uh, I had some uh, goo gone but I don't know if that's the best stuff to take off with this paint so I'll see I have a friend who's like a motorcycle guru so I'll ask him what's the best stuff to take that off without having to worry about messing up the paint or whatever. Okay. Front. Oh my gosh. This always gets me. I'm like, is it really locked? Is my key gonna come out? <laughs> okay, there we go. Bam. Success. Excuse me. It wasn't very ladylike, but I'm only human. <laughs> I am turning. Let's see. Okay. What's up, dude? <laughs> okay, I'm turning. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, signal off. <laughs> so, uh, the Laz Lazarus effect last night, and <laughs> Like, I don't get scared easily at all. Normally, horror or scary movies, I don't go to. I don't waste my money at because I don't get scared that easily, you know, by. And my friend was so disappointed. He was like, oh, this is so stupid. I don't really understand the ending. What are they trying to, trying to, trying to get from that? What can, we're supposed to get from that movie? Are they going to make a sequel? Nobody's going to see that shit. I was like, dude, don't think too much into it. It's just a freaking horror flick. It's, I don't put that much thought into it. I was like, it's just entertainment value. They just want to give people a few shocks because there are some really scary people out there. <laughs> my sister being one, <laughs> she gets scared so easily. Oh my gosh. And returning, and returning. <laughs> yeah, 
I still need to see Hot Tub Time Machine Part 2. I love the first one. I loved it. It's so funny. And it's really windy. Why did I get on the freeway? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to exit here. Now this road right here is pretty cray cray to drive. Like, this is another busy road in this city. So I gotta be ever more vigilant <laughs> driving this thing. And slowing down. And yeah. Which lane are you getting in, buddy? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, there's a scooter. It's always interesting to see scooters. Most likely I'll eventually just end up going to Taco Bell. Not the healthiest. <laughs> Crazy thing is I have like a fridge full of groceries. Full of yummy foods. I'd just rather be out getting a little ride in today. Because it's been just rain and rain and rain and clouds like over this past week. Except for, I think it was really nice a couple of days ago. It was, no, no, actually yesterday, I think. It was sunny. It was like 55. It wasn't too bad at all. So, I need to find a place to pee. I see. I don't want to be in your blind spot, bruh. Because then people want to like come over on you and that's not a good thing. There's not a lot I'm going to do to this bike as far as mods or anything. I'm going to keep it fairly standard because, um, I mean, like I said, uh, eventually I do want to move up to probably like a, a 600 or something. Um, and that most likely won't be till after grad school until I'm done grad school. So I'll have it at least for like, you know, a good two and a half, three years before I sell it and then um, upgrade because in grad school I won't have any money. I'm going to be like pretty much a broke ass grad student on the reels. I'm going to be broke. <laughs> I like this bike the way it is so I'm not going to mod it. Like the only thing I, I purchased for it like you saw was the, the sea cowl and that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I know I saw some people, I think a few on uh, YouTube who have uh, got some of the aftermarket exhausts or like the slip on or whatever. And it sounds, I don't really like the sound of it. It sounds more like a dirt bike. All right. And a lot of people have commented that it, oh, okay. Don't even, don't even do it, brah. Don't, okay. Um, <laughs> a lot of people have commented that it, it it's way too loud. And I, for one, very much so value my hearing. I mean, we already get so much loud noise on bikes anyway with you know the wind and it'd be a, a good little bike to just commute around campus on anyway for my apartment instead of driving my car because you know parking is generally horrendous on universities and um parking fees are shit so then you could just like pretty much sneak a motorcycle to an almost any kind of parking situation i'll be a little bit better off in that sense Wow, it is. This road's generally busy, but it's even more so busy today. Wee! Right. Don't turn. Don't do it. I really don't like those lanes. I really don't. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Don't pull out. Don't pull out. <laughs> oh, you guys are scary. Oh, Corvette. Nice. Oh, Lord. This van driver done pulled up behind me. I don't know. Sometimes van drivers make me really nervous. Because it puts on mind, like, the thought of, like, moms with a van full of kids. And then the moms get distracted 
from rowdy kids in the back of the van and then they want to swipe take one hand off the wheel and swipe and look back just so they could smack their kid who's being rowdy and so they're not really paying attention oh, that always that's generally what I think of when I see minivans and I'm like no <laughs> do minivan drivers hate Mini Cooper drivers because they're like look at them in the tiny car. They don't have to lug around a bunch of rowdy kids and they don't have to drive minivans. I hate them. Like, do they get jealous that they have to pack a bunch of people in their vehicle? I don't know. That they have to <laughs> I mean, you know, one of these days eventually it's possible I'll have kids, what is. Um still relatively young. I mean I'm thirty. So I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling out having kids. I'm not ruling out adopting that. I mean, right now, being an aunt is awesome. I have have a, a few nieces and a nephew. So, oh, goodness, that's fun.